have been live streaming in Japan for over three years, and I constantly get asked this one question. Hey, Pete, I'm coming to Japan soon, and uh, where should I go, and what should I do? Every stream. Every video, every time I go live, and luckily, I'm gonna start giving you some answers. This video will be about introducing a place that's very near and dear to me, and it's going to be part of an ongoing series called Places Pete Loves, and the first one is Akihabara. So get your notepads out, get ready to take some notes, because I'm taking you to the geek capital of the world, and you can start building your trip around my advice. By the way, second most question is, Pete, how are you so funny, good-looking, smart, and uh, don't, look, don't believe me? Check the comments. It's the top one every time. This is the, the Square Enix Cafe. There's already a line down the shop. Now, this is going to be huge because, obviously, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth just dropped. I should be at home playing it right now. I highly recommend this. They don't allow filming, but they've got a cafe on the left and a good store on the right. We're going to have a lot of honorable mentions. Look at this store, guys. Towering above the Akihabara station, the Yodobashi Akiba. It is the premier outlet store for all things electronics. This place is not hard to miss. It's enormous. I get it. We're starting here because I've always wanted to see if I time it, how long does it take for me to walk on every floor through almost every single alleyway from the beginning to the top. I think it's going to take about 35 minutes. That's my guess. All right, let's do it. Ready? Three. E engage. Floor one. Oh my God, it's so much warmer. Thank you, God. First floor, right? You've got all of your accessories. And I'm talking like all sorts of watch bands, plugins, USB C's. So that's basically the first floor is your most lucrative. This is nine floors of power plus two basements. We're gonna go from the first floor all the way to the ninth. So let's go to the second. Look at your guys' new chat box that Pete wants. Ooh, nice big, I can see all of your messages in 4K insults with about my head. I wanna bookmark this one, this is, this is nice. Oh, also, when you buy PC parts, the next obvious conclusion is that you probably wanna drink yourself into a, a stupor to forget about how much money you just spent. Whether you're coming from the ninth floor and you've bought a bunch of different TV or game accessories, why not pick up some Bobbe sapphires, some gins, or some tuna fish? Oh. Sometimes you just need a good tail meat of tuna. When I first got into streaming, even just three years ago, it was very rare to find any of this stuff. Good lord, this is crazy. They even have safes over here. Let's be honest, we don't have much to lock up anymore. I loved buying these things, actually. These things are so freaking great. It's these clear files that you can put in together like plans and uh, lesson propositions and you feel official when you when you go to like a job interview you can level up your presentation by by holding a really cool looking like they're like can you tell us a little bit about your teaching you go well not this one this one sucks you go why yes I you go why yes I can and then you flop it open we move forward Sometimes you can find the uh, the Mario Brothers ties. They used to make them, and I had I had five or six. Imagine my forehead with the GFX 100S series. Is that what I look like on stream? No way. Let's go to camera. Uh oh. Uh oh. Should not have touched. This. Oh my God, I need this. I can have a Frosty right next to my bed and they already have my idea here. Just put the sake and the water. So I get home from 
boozing and I can have the Pokari sweat stocked up. This is the air cons. If you guys didn't know, most of Japan doesn't have central heating. You're gonna need to get wall unit or four and these can be kind of expensive. This is $3,000. Wow, look at this bad boy. Oh, I thought that, okay. The fact that I'm getting lost and I'm just inside of the, the refrigerator aisle is, is actually incredible Good job. That's the one, nice you got it, yeah. You. It's a pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what you doing in uh, Yorobashi? I, I have a, like a language exchange kind of cafe thing, but I, I arrived earlier, so... You just I, came to yeah, here? It's my first time like in this building. Oh, really? Dude, That's what I was trying to show everybody. It's nice to meet you. I'm going to keep the tour going. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, nice this you. is Mr. Romas. And good luck on your yeah. language exchange. Yeah. All right, take care. He got me immediately with the premier who... <laughs> I'm being pulled in by its tractor beam. Must turn around, but I can't. Oh no. They have the X-Men 97. Oh shit. I don't need this. I don't need this. Pito crap's fine. I want this. Oh, I want this. I want all of these. Okay, we don't need these. Oh, the, the Hoaxai. C is for cookie. It's good enough for me. Use your prime now. Pop it for Pete. Pee pee love. What? This is new. Wow. They pivoted hardcore into this Nintendo zone. Hey, look at this. They have the Undertale guy. Hey. Do you guys know them? They're called Atadashi Gakko. I taught one of these girls my last year at my high school. I was her English teacher. She was a great student and she was very talented. No shot, I swear to God, I know her. I'm not gonna tell you which one it is, but I, I, can, I can see her there. Let me point something out. I had nothing to do with her success. She was an individually talented person who was already on her way to making a career. My job was just to... Oh, see what I said. I thought that was a stormtrooper for us. I wanted to show you guys the stormtroopers. Ooh. I can't believe we're still in Yodobashi camera. And you have like an extremely expensive suit store right next to a dollar store. I've never been to this floor in my entire life. And uh, since this is a places that Pete loves, I'll show you guys what I buy. You guys have seen me wear this sweater. I wore it on the Onigiri collab. There it is. Dude. If I wasn't wearing 85 pounds of equipment, I would totally buy that. It's a Metal Gear NES shirt. Whoa, look at you. Konnichiwa. Yoko de gozaimasu. Yodobashi camera. How are you doing? Very good. This is so smart. You have one thing to hold. Yes. So why are you in Akiba today? I just saw cherry blossoms in Hirai Station. Really? Yeah, There's yeah, cherry blossoms along the river. Oh, they're already blooming? Yeah, yeah, they're already blooming. Okay, uh, we're gonna go to Hirai Station yeah, later. Yeah, okay, guys, I had this planned all along. Jane, bye bye. See you soon. Sorry, sorry about that, sir. <laughs> So in case you just worked up an appetite and the alcohol floor and the canned of tuna didn't do it for you, you have up to 25 different restaurants. Tonteki, wontonchi, tonkatsu, or wako tonkatsu. This place is goaded. Pepper lunch, you can skip that one, even though it's okay. Craft beer tap. What? I want to see. <laughs> okay, let's just look at the craft beer tap. Oh, yo. Oh, man. I didn't know you worked here. See you on <laughs> no, no, it's nice to see me. you. Wow, nice holy! See you. Wow, I forgot you oh, worked in Akiba. God. This oh, is where you work? Oh yeah. You're right. This kind gentleman we met at a local place near my near our home. Yeah. And you know your English is amazing. Yeah. And you, <laughs> you said that you worked at like a craft beer place. Yeah. I didn't know it was here. Oh, there we. Yeah. I mentioned you. Probably, but I was drinking, so oh, I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. So I'm streaming right now. Oh, yeah, that's fine. So yeah. you're Can you introduce yourself? Sure. I'm I'm Kazu, but yeah, I'm a, I work at a Discord beer restaurant. And also, I'm DJing at Shibuya. That's right. Nice to meet you guys. That's yeah. the one I remember, the DJ <laughs> part. Maybe I can come back here later oh, after sure. I finish my tour, oh, yeah, and I'll sure. get a beer. I'm waiting here. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, man. I'll see you uh, soon, Kazu. Yeah, I'll see you right, soon. Later. Stay smart. Have a good one. Johnny.
Wow, that's incredible, guys. Even though we've already streamed for an hour and a half, and we've only been at one location, please, God, tell me you guys are still having a fun time. Please. It's not like horrible, is it? Uh, I have a, a sports shop you can, oh cool, they have the little toppers of like your favorite baseball team and like the Yomiuri Giants. You can get a little Sonic golf club. Uh, this might be the only place in the world that you can get a Gengar golf topper. You know, if you're friends with, and then you can get a Lapras, a Lapras and a, um, a Duduo. And look, they even have like Psyduck. Charmander. So cool. <laughs> this is the smallest floor and I'm the most confused. It's just, it's, oh shit. What? You can go to Akihabara and smack some balls like Top Golf? Oh, this is my favorite right here. I don't have a card. Well, let me show you how it's done once I figure it out. Oh, good. English. Oh my god. <laughs> I want to generate a card. Please choose the amount of money to be issued. Jesus Christ. 1300 Please yen? Please select your payment method. Oh god. Thank you for using. This is not gonna look good. I'm just gonna tell you straight up. But I'm gonna go batting with you guys, okay? I'm gonna show you how the Americans do it. First of all, I can throw this one back. Ugh. That was the worst. How did I make it bounce? Give it to me, Otani. That, what the, f that, that, that just faked me. Oh, yeah. That's right, boys. A little warm up action. OP still got it. Ah! You guys saw me. You guys saw me. Did you see me crank? <laughs> I, I'm not saying, did you see my crank? Hey, I get to pitch, and I'm supposed to hit all of those nine things. Yay! All right, last one, last one, last one. Okay, okay. Okay, that's it. <laughs> okay, I think I pulled my grundle. That was fun, guys. That was definitely worth coming for here. That was, that was cool. Places Pete loves. Now you know why. We did it. That's what we just escaped from, my friends. Yodobashi Akiba. We walked for three kilometers, 88 minutes of action. And I paused it talking with Yoshi and I paused it for talking at the batting cages. Average pace of about half an hour, which is pretty slow because we were stopping and talking. That was three kilometers we walked going through just some of that store. All right, so that is number one of the places that Pete loves in Akihabara. Let's check out the next ones. There's Get Into the Gaming Oasis. It's the number two spot on my recommended honorary mention. If you want to see the classic Sega building in its new style, look no further than the Get Into the Gaming Oasis. A pretty good gaming center, but I've got one better that I'm gonna take you to. But there's an honorable mention number two, so get your notes out. So the next place I'm gonna take you guys is actually a series of places. If you're planning a trip to Japan, and you enjoy the thrill of the hunt, you enjoy the, the search instead of buying on Amazon, and your hobby is to, is to look for things through dusty old aisles, I recommend this series of buildings. It's called the Trader Buildings. This is Trader 2. There are Trader 3s, 4s, and 5s, and each one has a different collection of stuff. But the reason that I like it is on one of the Traders, we're going to be able to find the only store I've ever found that has Western imported goods. So, let's take a look together. This is Trader 2. You can buy things like PlayStation 5 or all kinds of action figures, limited edition goods. For a lot of you guys, you might be super familiar with some of, well, these ones for sure, you probably know. Whether they're out of print or they're difficult to find, you might just find the one that you're looking for. They do have used games. Um, Krillin. I don't know if I can go upstairs with you guys. Yeah. Oh, they've got price tags on her bazingas. Okay. It says adult only. Okay, glad we checked. We saw, we saw just enough of second floor says Windows games. And then it has the adult DVDs right there. Honorable mention number three. I've been here on a Chris video. It is extremely famous. It needs very little introduction, but I'm happy to introduce you to it. It is the legendary Super Potato. What well, used to be the mecca of like retro games and, and buying it on the third, fourth, and fifth floor has now become a little bit oversaturated with um, 
kind of some, some price hiking, some price gouging. You can get all the consoles there. You can find some really rare things but you're gonna pay uh, an exorbitant price for it. But as a legacy store, it's very important. Honorable mention number three is the legendary Mandarake. Eight floors of toys, dolls, buildings, your own creations, and of course, really rare and really hard to find retro goods. You've seen me use the Parappa the Rapper clock that I have in the background. I found it right there 12 years ago, and it was eight hundred yen and I snagged it immediately. They have a Ren and Stimpy pull my hairball to make me talk? That's awesome. Took it home and then like eight years later Yuki broke it. You guys might be interested in the world famous Maruetsu. Akihabara back in the day, it wasn't just video games and cafes for maids and, and vampires and dancers and stuff. What it used to be was a niche station where you would come here and you could find any sort of hobby that you had there was a niche store for it. This one has stood the test of time. Whether you were into trains or painting or all these other things, I've always loved Maruetsu. This is where you build your own PCs. We're going into the, the absolute nitty gritty of components. And I've always thought it was so cool that whoever owns this place, you know, maybe you're really just looking for the 2240-28. You can look inside here and there they are. Just the thing you were looking for. So this is not a uh, place that Pete loves, but it is a, a recommended uh, honorable mention, if that's, your, if that's your interest. I just think it's cool that it exists. It's been there for 20 years. This one I think is Trader One. It's possibly the flagship trader. No, this, this used to be, that used to be the entire section dedicated to Western titles. Oh no. They do have Turtles in Time for nearly $220. Whew. Okay, so here we are. Um, that that did frighten me. Certainly when I moved here, only games that you could buy, like Neo 2, all of the language would be in Japanese. Resident Evil or Biohazard, uh, Mortal Kombat, a lot of these games are heavily censored in Japan. If you live in Japan and you wanted to, you're not visiting, but you live here and you want to pick up games, this might be your only opportunity and sometimes you'll find some cool stuff like Whole New World Special Edition. And one of the other things is that in Japan, the games are super expensive. You might get some really sick deals. This is Neo 2 Special Edition. It's 1,500 yen, 1,500. That's a great deal. Resident Evil 4, 9,000. Okay, that's, ex that's a bad example because that game is uncensored, so it's probably... Here's all the used PlayStation 4. PlayStation 5. These are all Japanese titles though. You can also find a console here, especially like rare editions of consoles. So if you're looking for the Final Fantasy Type-0, which by the way, this console is really sick looking. I love that red and black. They always have these kind of special edition consoles everywhere. I actually bought my favorite console ever that I used for years at a trader and that was the the Nino Kuni special edition PlayStation 3 console that was nice and cream and it had dippy on the front the downstairs of that trader was a buyback section of the store and it's the only buyback section of those traders and really anywhere that I've found where you get some decent value. So if you're trying to get rid of some old tech, which can be a real problem in Japan, you can take it to that spot. Welcome to another place that Pete loves, the Yellow Submarine. Um, this is traditionally, I used to go here uh, almost every couple of months. Why? Because I love board games. And furthermore, I didn't have a place to play board games. Yellow Submarine solves two of those problems that you're about to see. One, a great collection of brand new, used, and hard to find board games, and a place to play them. Let's go take a look. Our store will be closed on Sunday, December 3rd. That's not gonna be a good YouTube video. That is embarrassing. Oh God, no. You gotta be kidding me today, guys. Coco Curry has a line of 25 people. <laughs> Oh no, what have we done? I feel like today is slightly trending uh, away from me. So maybe I'll add it as an honorable mention. Here we are, the legendary Go Go Curry. 
I first came to this establishment almost 20 years ago when it was relatively new. Now it is a bastion of curry. Uh, as you can see, the line spreads out the door as people are lining up for this delicious dark curry. There is a challenge here where if you can eat like two kilos of rice and all the toppings, you will you win the people's ovation and fame forever. Unfortunately, it looks like right now the line's peeling around the block. There's tons of food places around, but the idea of the series is that it's called Places Pete Likes. <laughs> Not Places Pete's gonna try for the first time. Oh shit, I hope this tastes good. You've seen the Yodobashi camera building. We've been to Gogo -Go Curry. We've tried to go to Traders and Yellow Submarines alike, but nothing will prepare you for what lies behind this simple awning. Hey! Kidose Entertainment Yard by Taito. You take your Sega buildings and your Taito games and you give me hay any time. This is my favorite arcade. I remember when I first came to this arcade, guys. This was back in like the day. I'm not, I'm not mad, I'm happy. But there was no foreigners, you know? Look, I put one of paper, get 10 of coin. What a deal. Uh, now it seems like the Hirose Entertainment Yard is doing fantastic, which is great. What? It's one coin? That's insane. We're gonna represent America. All right, watch this. She's gonna jump at me immediately. I knew it. What am I doing? Oh wait, he's got the crouching medium. I got this, I got this. <laughs> Just don't let her get close, it's easy. Okay, don't get perfected. Do not get perfected. The buttons, look, these two here I keep hitting on accident. Mm. Mm. Wait, 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 guys, I got this, I got this. I don't got this, I got baited. <laughs> Oh, baby! Still got it! Oh, cool, the music games. I've never played even one of these, but I feel like I could do it. Oh, sweet! I want to play as kind of looks the closest to Mouse. Never mind. No, it doesn't. E kanji e desu? That means you're doing great. Let's go check the line at Gogo -Go Curry again, shall we? I'd also like to point out, this is an honorable mention. Uh, there's no way I can go in here. If you're feeling a little saucy and want to see the sexy side of Japan, this is a very famous store called Love Merci. It has men's goods, women's goods, couples goods, fetishes, costumes and lingerie, whatever your desire. In fact, even the windows are shaped like a giant uh, Galaga gun. But this place has been famous since 20 years. I can't go in there. I wouldn't go in there. I've never been in there. But you might enjoy it. So check that out for a honorable mention. Love Merci, my friends. Oy. Nice looking forehead you got there, buddy. Uh, come here, Ralph. Which camera I got to look at? Hey, how you doing? I am a legal citizen. I have permanent residency. Hey, I think I won a couple of these from... That forehead is pretty big. Wow. This is where you come if you want to eat gogo -go curry. Let's do it. I actually want medium. This is the pito special. Yeah, medium. You get some cheese. Let's get an egg. These are my favorite things with curry. Pickled ginger. All right, you get your healthy amount of lettuce. I added the egg, the pork katsu. I highly recommend the cheese. It's kind of spicy, but not really. It has a nice taste to it. Itadakimasu. Dude, I have not had this in forever. This is 100% a place that Pete loves. This is so delicious. This is exactly why I love Akihabara. This meal, the game center, the Yodobashi Akiba, Gogo -go Curry, perfect for a place to reload on carbs as you're walking around looking for the best deals on anime, video games, niche culture, whatever you're into. I always go to Gogo -Go Curry, legitimately. Every time I come here, go to somebody stop. I just myself. Uh, I think the trash taste boys are up here. They're not there now. Oh, look, hey, sweet. This is the uh, the one we were looking for earlier, the, the yellow submarine. Hey, I found it, just like I said. You know what my favorite thing to do is when I was a kid? I had D&D &D version 1.0. I love reading the player's handbooks. Boy, would my mind race with all, with all these different ideas and characters and fantasies and magical items. And then 
when I moved to Japan, I met this other guy. His name was uh, Earl. And you know what he called the Monster Manual? I loved it. We were talking about it. And I was like, yeah, I had the Player's Handbook and the Dungeon Master's Guide. And he said, did you have the, the Faux Folio? And I was like, what? He was like, yeah, the Faux Folio. A folio is a collection of works. And of course, your enemies are called your foes. And I, va- I was like, that's the best name for that. Okay. Ace Pendergrass. Frankie, Goku, Goku, Evangelion, Death Note. I almost included this place on my uh, Places Pete Loves. Uh, no problem. I just wanted to show you guys. That's what you get. You get the... the oh, and I, I honestly think this is one of the most unfortunate names that you can have. Made Reaming. Made Reaming. Ooh. Now this gets my engine purring. That is the resort hybrid. Mm. Didn't expect to find the Sunrise Express here. Ow! That's a got a little excited there. Oh, the dude bumped me. He 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 bumped me in the back when he when he walked by with his his girlfriend. It pushed me into the glass. But it made a very comical bonk. <laughs> It's high school all over again. I'm gonna find him and I'm gonna be the, the little people on the floor with my tray looking up at the shadow. <laughs> okay, this is a good one. What in the hell are these characters? Death Note? Do not tell me that's Jujutsu Kaisen again. Oh my god. Dude, Berserk goes so hard. That sword looks so cool. W40, this is Rob's box? It's empty. This is it, W40? Smells faintly of, <laughs> yep, ramen and bike grease. Gotcha. <laughs> of course he has that thing in the middle on a record. That is a very, that's a nice display. And it's cool that he has a Yu Yu Hyakusho, I never would have guessed. I'm gonna say slight L with the Naruto and burrito. This is Garnt? No, I thought for sure this was Joey. See, now this one is pretty damn good. Is that a Lupin, the third guy over there with the long legs? This is pretty based. He's even got a little dry on. Joey Clears, best layout. Wow! Went there to see my four friends, walked out of there questioning everything. We have the hub, right? I promised I would take you guys to my favorite hub. What's up, Snake? Look at this, guys. This makes me so happy to see. It's full of travelers. This is... Absolutely unheard of when I first came to Japan in, in 06 or 05, and now it's now it's full. Tour of the PlayStation PS2 Dreamcast floor. They even put me on the, the wall here. AJ Styles and Kenny Omega came here. I'm here. Can I put can I put my shikishiki? In? I like this floor a lot more. Oh man. That's okay. I'll go. <laughs> um. Well, you know, you guys have seen it before. <laughs> what a jerk I am. There's your B-roll. The hub is a chain of bars that are present in all around Japan, but primarily they're notorious in Tokyo, Yokohama. Originally, you know, in the golden days that some people will reminisce about, it was it was a veritable paradise. All right, Akira. You could find the love of your life, or maybe just for the night. The perception clearly outweighed the reality and it was it's not that but what it is is it's about there's about 75 of them dotted around tokyo and i think the reputation still holds that that's where you should go for that kind of nonsense and the drinks are cheap and watered down and the food is garbage and the the worst is like it's it's kind of a a british style pub but there's no charm of and it killed me it drove me absolutely mad that Nathan would go. He, he loved going there because he'd say, the, cheap, the, the drinks are cheap, mate. Charms of Britain. What are those? <laughs> it's like a choose your own adventure. On the left side, you've got this cool hub with like cocktails, wine, spirits. It's like a smaller version, but it's nice and tucked in. And on this side, you've got like a deeper inset. But what I really love is the outdoor seating even though it has a closed roof. I actually don't mind this aesthetic. I think it's really cool. It's quieter, so that because you can sit outside and the, aud- the audio will spill out, so it's, it's a bit more 
it's not as echoey or you're not shouting over each other. Plan is now is have a couple of drinks here. Then after we have a few bruisers here, let's go say hi to Kazu at the craft beer place. In, in England, a pint of beer like this will get you shanked. Imagine if I went to the UK and I said, I'd like a, um, a point of neck oil, and there was that much head, they'd kill you there. They pour it in England and it's like spilling out so that they don't screw it up. Okay, I'll tell you what, I have a better idea. Let's go to the other place because uh, I'm gonna meet some buddies tonight and just chill. And let's go say hi to Kazu before they arrive. So there's the, there's the story we started the stream at uh, from a different angle. It's so enormous, I love it. Also, if you enjoyed today's, I have to shamelessly shill this. If you want to wear the merch, the official merch of today's, grab your Places Pete Loves shirt and snag yours today. <laughs> I was, uh, we finally finished. We're, this is the very last part of the stream, so I said we'd come back. And, uh, but everyone really liked you. I can't believe it. I was like, wait a minute, what about nice? No, more Kazu, more Kazu. So, um, I have two friends coming to join me. Is that table over there okay? Like in the. Thank you so much. Arigatouzaimasu. Oh, cool. I think he understood the assignment. That's a, that's, a, that's a G right there. So now we added one bonus place that places that Pete likes. And that is this place. So. You, you sometimes DJ in like Shibuya or yeah. really? Yeah, I, I DJ Shibuya like like the famous club Boom or Mia Stopper. Yeah. Now I'm 40 years old. Mm -hmm. Can I still go to Woom and Mia Stopper? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What about, what about older people are going to? Is it true? Oh yeah. Okay, so I'll come watch you sometime with my friends. Oh, I'll okay, you. I'm very lucky. We have the biggest forehead on Twitch. It's... <sighs> That's my lip balm. I guess I can still use the top. That's like eating a burrito from the middle. Yo, what up? Oh, I can already tell you're pissed. You had a meeting today. You had your graduation. graduation. Fucking graduation, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like pissed and exhausted. I could tell. I could tell when he's usually like, what's up, what's up? By the way, this is the eighth floor. I know. You told me nine. Yeah, well, I wanted you to see the batting cages. Oh, okay, okay. That's cool. not what I wanted you to see. Well, there's a the golf thing. Yeah, I wanted you to see the golf thing. Uh, <laughs> oh, come by, man. Come oh, by. Let's go to some of this. Got a 